confused is I guess I should look at my calendar. I always thought solstice was on the 21st, but then sometimes it's on the 22nd or, I mean, it maybe just depends. I get a little, because it varies because of the whole quarter day thing. Right. Right. Yeah. So which it's either the 21st or the 22nd. I don't know. Is it, so is it today or it's the 22nd? I don't, that's my question. (laughs) I'm Googling. I'm Googling. We're going to know December 21st. Oh, so it is today. So it is today. I like solstice. And then the days are going to start getting longer again. I'm very glad about that. See, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't really have that seasonal. I mean, I don't know. I don't mind. I just don't I, like it doesn't depress me. Like I don't get the seasonal blues. I just get annoyed because it'll be like five o'clock and I think it's like nine, <laughs> you know, like, is I it know. ready for bed? No, I haven't even made dinner yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. My daughter who's home from school, she's like, I feel like it's eight o'clock, like you're saying, and it's five. And she's yeah. like, it's time for tea. Jamie's in my book, you know, <laughs> which is fine. Just, she just yeah. make it that. Just embrace it. Oh, yeah. I wish so I had she, the time to just embrace that. That would be goes, wonderful. I mean, I do that. I go get my jammies on whenever I want. I mean, I know I still have to go out and do, you know, close up the barn at like nine or 10 before bed, but I just stomp out there in my jammies. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. That's what this Sunday, that's what we did this Sunday. We just had a jammy day pretty much all day. <laughs> and when you work from home, you can do that. Yeah, watch TV, Zoom church. It's all, it was all jammyable stuff. So by the way, speaking of watching TV last night, uh-huh. we watched the Robin Robin show that you were talking about with the, fil- it was so cute. Isn't it cute. It's really cute. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Thought it was the only I wish my only complaint is I wish they spent like one more hour writing the songs. I kind of liked it. I kept thinking I thought they songs. were oh the wording to the songs. I was like, come on, guys, you could do better. I guess but I the, was the whole thing and like with the magpie. Is it was it a magpie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his friend the magpie. I he just cracked me up. Yeah. How, Shiny. Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. And his bottle crazy. cap collection was serious. It was, yes, he is a dedicated collector. I thought it was great. And, you know, of course, the animation and the felting was fantastic. Oh, yeah, because it's Ardman. Yeah. They always do a wonderful job. What cracked me up the most, and I was like the little mouse who had <laughs> had its like stuffed animal kitten thing. And then when the, I, I don't want to be a spoiler, but then later on, the scary cat and the little mouse. Right, like, yeah. Kitten. kitten. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. <laughs> oh, it was oh, great. Crazy. So yeah, I think, I mean, that's just a good, you know, rated G. We just watched it together while we were eating dinner and it was funny. Yeah, it's cute. It's a cute little, a cute little addition to the canon, if you will. And <laughs> we still have DVDs like the whacked out penguins. You know, remember that from Madagascar? The oh, out? yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we watched the, <laughs> it was just like a 30 minute short, you know, of the whacked out penguins, Merry Christmas, whatever yeah. thing. We still have some DVDs like that from when the kids were little, but it's fun. You know, it's fun to watch those now. Yeah. We've, we've come to a peaceful arrangement now with our Christmas movies. So uh, <laughs> we were supposed to, at the beginning of this month, we had our, our oldest daughter, we were like, come up with a schedule of Christmas movies and we'll meet every night and we'll watch Christmas shows and movies together. So she did. But the first night we were supposed to do it, she laid down for a nap and wouldn't wake up. And my other daughter like took off to her friend's house. So we sat down and watched Elf. And you and then, Adam did. Yeah. And then when my oldest heard it, she got grumpy about it. And so she sat down and watched Polar Express without us. <laughs> So you've had a little Christmas movie. So we had like a, yeah. So, so my husband had to do a little bit of traveling. So we've, we've had to pause the movings movies. And I was like, okay, it's time to call a truce. Let's sit down together. We'll watch both of the movies together, even it out, be back on a level playing field. So that's what we did. We did that on Sunday evening. Yeah. (laughs) When we were having our jammy day. (laughs) Which is how you got caught up on your, all your knitting. 
Cheer report. <laughs> That's a little sound effect for under the graphic. <laughs> so there's my two latest ones. Okay. And this one we found out was the very confused uh, chameleon. chameleon. Yeah. Chameleon. Yeah. So he's still brown, not beachy at all. Um, <laughs> uh, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> So I have no idea what these two are. No idea at all. But I really like them together. I like the pooling on both of them. Yeah. How it worked out. Um, and I got 12 full ridges from both of them with no problem. Wow. Yeah. I had little bits left over and I would, well, here's here's what I had left over from the, the one. And then this is what I had left over from the other one. So I could have gotten like another quarter row, half row out of them if I wanted to, but. Wow. Yeah, those two were no sweat at all. No sweat. And then I was telling you before we logged in, I'll show people because. Because, yeah. Because why not? So this is my first Maya sleeve for the Maya cardigan knit along that Jan is running. And this is my second one. And you got you, you got that done after you had your gauge issue. Yep. Yep. And they're the same size. So I, if you follow my Instagram, you will know that the second one if I laid them one on top of each other, I had a finger's width difference, which when you factor in like on both sides, that's like an inch yeah, difference. Yeah. And someone was saying, oh, you can block that out. But I think an inch, mm -hmm. like if it was under a half inch difference, I think I'd be okay mm -hmm. with blocking it out. But no. So what happened was, what had happened was, that's a family joke. I don't know if anyone's going to laugh at that. Uh, <laughs> What happened we'll laugh was at the fact that you're one, telling family jokes that no one gets. We'll yeah. <laughs> on this one, um, I started with a circular that was just barely long enough. So I was having to stretch the stitches to get it around. Oh. And then I transferred to another circular, which also same difference, but same thing. But once uh, I got to the first increase, then it was better. And I don't know why I did that to myself, but I did. And then I finished that one. And then I was like, I'm not going to do that again. So I started the second one on DPNs okay. and didn't have that stretch. Yep. But that's what caused the difference in gauge. So I ended up going up a size on my circulars. So I ended up doing sixes and sevens. But and I, will, I will interject that even if you had not had a stretch issue, just the difference in circular without a stretch the difference in circulars versus DPNs will still cause a gauge difference in some people. Yeah. yeah, it can. Yeah. So anyway, so I got those two done and I got this much done of my- The body, body. ribbing. And I'm doing it in the round instead of, I'm doing the whole yeah. thing in the round. Sure. So I went ahead and added the two steak stitches right at the beginning okay. and I split them, you know, that's my beginning and end of round because that's what yeah. I'm gonna cut. Yeah. Um, I was talking to Lynn about, she was, Lynn was showing me hers and I was like, yeah, that's the smart way. Just why not? So yeah. are you doing the fair aisle sticking method or are you doing the, uh, Icelandic tradition? I'm going to try it the way it's written in the pattern with yeah. the Icelandic where you sew it and cut it. Sure. Uh, cause I haven't done it before. Yeah. Why not? So I'm going for it. So I don't think today I'm going to have time to work on this. My goal for today is to sort of stop on this and weave in all the ends because it's getting to be a lot. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to get my rows done. And I think that's going to fill up my day. Yeah. But I'm happy I got that much done on the Maya card again. That, like getting that much done makes me think that once this is over, I should be able to finish. I'm hoping to be able to finish this one by the end of the year. Ooh. Like if I'm putting this much time, yeah. into that I think yeah. I might be able to at mm. least get it off the needles maybe I won't have it steaked in the button bands yeah. but yeah. you know have the body yeah. and yoke and everything because I feel like the knitting of it you're like oh this kind of takes so long the knitting of it is you know <laughs> what okay here's what I'm trying to say <laughs> awkwardly I think the button band the steaking the finishing the sewing on the buttons you know the finishing of it takes quite a lot of time I mean, proportionately, yeah. of course, yeah. the knitting is the bulk of it, but still the finishing of it is, you know, it's quite a lot. It's not insignificant with a sweater. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's just, it's funny. It's funny because if you, 
if you actually sit down and think about like the amount of finished work that goes into it, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it would take as much as a sleeve, half a sleeve yeah, amount of time. But the thing is like you, there's like so many different times when you can sort of get derailed and get onto something else. Yep. Like, oh, I got to go sew so I can cut the steak. Oh, I got to, you know, now I got to pick up all the button bands, you know? So it's just like all yeah. the different steps where right. you can be like, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that after dinner, you know? And then, yeah. It, yeah. And then it goes by the wayside because you're right. knitting a sock or whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which so the only reason I said that yeah. it's, I'm making a teeny weeny sock. Like, are you? Teeny weeny. Oh, it's teeny weeny. Is that yeah. going to be an ornament? Yeah. Here's why. But look, I'll show you what I did. The, I haven't woven in the ends, so forgive me, because it's just all, I'm just busting them out. It's a teeny sweater. So cute. I know. It's so cute. Why do we always, we're like, oh, look, look, okay. Oh my so gosh. Then, yep. Look, you can see how tiny compared to my, you know, compared that to my That is cat. adorable, Jana. It's just leftovers, you know, scrappy bits. Look at this one, how this one came out. With the little stripe. I love that. It not, and that's just self-striping yarn or did yeah. you? Yeah. No, I didn't plan so, that. It's just, it's just like sock tidbits, you know, of sock yarn that I have left in my. Yeah. Bin. That reminds me so, of my friend, Jackie does tiny sweaters like that. And yeah. she, she'll make them into brooches, like just sort of, you know, attach a button, a pin to the back of it. Uh -huh. But she also did a garland of them. That's so cute. Her name's Jackie Kirkham. Um, she doesn't have it on her Instagram account. She has the tiny sweaters on, but she just posted the the garland. Right. She must have done it to her Facebook page. It's not on her Instagram, but it's so cute. Just little Christmas sweaters. Yeah. So I'm just knitting a teeny weeny little sock to be. Yeah. So I just cast on 16 and it just will have this teeny weeny little heel flap. And <laughs> yeah. So cute. I so have this advent calendar behind me that I knit. Um, like 12 years ago yeah just using acrylic like scrap acrylic and the acrylic I could get in the Philippines so I was like for a long time that was the only yarn I could find there right um and that, I want to redo it in wool and find like proper pattern because I just sort of made those up as I went yeah and I want the mittens to be more mitteny instead of the thumb like poking out to the <laughs> Yeah. So I'm trying, I've seen so many different, like, like this was, this was sort of like a new, like, oh my gosh, someone did this 10 years ago. And everyone was like, that's so cute. And that's when I was like, it's so cute. And I, I did it too, but there's it been is so, so many cute. Cute variations since then Yeah. that I want to really look around and find one that I. And I'm doing these know. just for like, to go in our uh, Christmas care packages we're sending to other, yeah. you know, we're like sending. a little. Mm -hmm. a little gift tag on the or, front kind of thing yeah or the other thing i've done in the past too is is these little like i'll put them inside put them inside a card and uh -huh. you have to add the extra postage because it makes it thicker but whatever it's like right. a quarter it's like 25 cents extra or something and i'll just put it in a greeting card like when i'm mailing this to someone who's you know across the country and i'm not sending yeah. actual food items you know right because it's cute Yes. And I don't know. I, I always wonder, do they just go meh and then maybe it gets on the tree. Maybe it doesn't, but whatever. It's still fun to send. It's fun to make. And, you know, so. I would put it on my tree, Jana. I would like flip out and put it on my tree. Cause you're a knitter. Yeah. But I think, I think average people too would see it and be like, that's adorable. And because it's it. tiny and yeah, yeah, it's adorable. It's yeah. just adorable. It is. It is. And it's a good way to use up tidbits. Yes. Which is always helpful. Yes. Love that. Yeah. So thanks. So where's the, the pattern for that? Jan? Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll put it in the link down below. I'll put the, I'll put okay. it down. Yeah. It's a tiny sweater pattern and I actually have a video tutorial about it. And then I have one for the mini little weeny teeny weeny sock. There's not a pattern for the teeny weeny sock. It's just my normal vanilla pattern, but I show in the video how to do it. Uh -huh. So I don't think there's a pattern. Maybe there was. It's been several years. I apologize. It's been several years since I made those tutorial videos about the ornaments. Like, I can't remember what I ate yesterday. So I don't right. remember. 
<laughs> it's been three or four years since those since <laughs> I filmed those videos, and so I don't remember off the do top. You of ever, my head. Do you ever feel at a disadvantage because sometimes people will listen to something or watch something? way more recently than you produced it and then they talk to you about it and you're like did I say that did I do <laughs> I have to go back and watch yeah yeah like, I have to go I back say? and watch my own video and be like what did I sell you <laughs> I'm gonna listen to that episode again I don't what <laughs> you know, I mean in fairness we've put out hundreds of videos and and podcasts and like yeah. I I don't have a need to keep all that on the hard drive like I have yeah. limited bandwidth here okay so <laughs> I have it archived on a hard drive or on YouTube, so yeah. I don't need to have it in my brain because right. I can let that go. I've already done it. Right. Yeah, I keep my show notes. I keep like, because yeah. I actually, I do, I would do script out my shows for the most part. And so I have really? referred back to those periodically, like my Shetland Lace episode. I've been like, wait, I know I said something about that. What did I say? And I'll go back and find, because I, I did like hardcore research for that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wait, I forget which like how it ended up being and then I've referred back to it yeah. but I and never if somebody says to, podcast, to me do you have a video for xyz I'll be like oh yeah I mean I know that I've done it yeah course. yeah well what I was gonna say earlier too was thanks to the people who have commented already on yeah. yesterday's video about because there's a couple oh, of shows I haven't watched I'm like oh yeah thanks for the recommendation you know yeah I was I Jana you pointed me to it just really quickly as we were logging in and same thing. I was just like scrolling real quick and I was like, oh yeah, that's like the last kingdom. Haven't oh, heard of. that's a good one. The last kingdom's a good one. If you like, you know, medieval adventure kind of stuff. Okay. I mean, it, you know, it's kind of like Vikings. It can be violent. Like if you don't uh -huh. want to see people like in sword fighting, like get their arm cut off, then I find I miss a lot of that because I just am like, oh, I'm going to look like, like they're fighting. I'll just watch my knitting for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else? Line of someone recommended line of duty, which That's I loved. Good. That That's a was good, good. One. Also kind of violent, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Last Tango in Halifax, New Tricks and Last Detective are all new to me. Mm -hmm. Death right. in Paradise. I think I've seen that one. Virgin River and Heartland. So now you guys know who's commented so far. You can go see. <laughs> I yesterday, totally like totally different genre or Sunday rather when we were having our jammy day, I binged all of McMillions. Have you ever seen that documentary? So McDonald's has their Monopoly game, right? Okay. So they do a thing. Oh, Jana, you live in the middle of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> okay. So this has been since the late 80s. They do a thing where like the fries and the drinks, they come with two stickers on it. And then oh, okay. you get a Monopoly board and you peel the stickers off and put them on your board. And when you get all three, you get that prize or right. you get instant yeah. win prizes. Well, and it doesn't matter that I live in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I don't eat at McDonald's because, ew. Yeah, I don't okay. anymore. But when I was a kid and stuff, you know, I was anyway. still a kid when this started. Like this was prime, like get and sucked in ages, you know, like I was like, we're going to win the Monopoly and win a million dollars. <laughs> anyway, so um, someone on the inside was stealing the instant winners and then he would sell them to someone else and say, you turn it in, but you have to give me half. And so all like all of the instant win prizes were being won by people, won by people who were buying them from that guy. And like the mafia was involved and like there were people <laughs> fearing for their lives and Over people losing their homes and all kinds of food stuff. game. Yeah, because so he would sell it to you. Say you have, I have a million dollar prize, right? That I'm going to sell to you. You have to give me a hundred thousand up front for that. So one lady, she, um, she didn't have it. So she mortgaged her house and then he got half of the million. And then she had to pay the taxes on the whole million. And so and then it took her mortgage from like 300 a month to a thousand a month. So she ended up losing money wow. on it. 
And yeah, just like all these different stories of like intimidation and threats and people losing their homes and like getting excommunicated from their church for being involved in this and like all this stuff, you know? And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm like, watch. I couldn't stop watching it. It was (laughs) ridiculous, like true, true crime. Yeah. Kind of like at the beginning of the pandemic, when everyone was freaking out watching the Tiger King. There is a second series now of that. I'm like, how could you possibly have a second series of the Tiger King? I didn't watch the first one. I was like, yeah, okay. That's (laughs) okay. I have my guilty pleasure TV shows that I, I would call trash TV like survivor <laughs> you know i like survivor not tiger king level not tiger king level <laughs> I, tiger king is another level of trashiness yeah i mean no offense if that's your jam then cool no judgment i'm just saying that's my opinion i don't have any judgment if people enjoy that then knock yourself out and a lot of people did yeah well clearly they made another yeah. one <laughs> got another series out of it so oh my word i don't know anyway should we do some yarn we should and if and speaking of survivor type shows like if anybody's into that yeah oh the other kind of shows i really like are when uh when they do the historical reenactments like yes there's one that's like snowdonia 1840 and it's where these people yes that one's great that yeah. one's in wales right i that's love when, those where people go like and live fishers. back in the time period that you know what i mean and then there's like the the three historians, the three British historians that do it together. And like one of them's an archaeologist and one of them's like a lady and she's all about like house and home stuff. So she does all the cooking and laundry and dyeing and Whoa. spinning. And Were they the ones that did like Victorian farm? Yes, that's it. Yeah, okay. they do Victorian farm and Tudor farm and Edwardian farm. Like they just like okay. all the different things. Yeah, I like those. So drop yeah, a comment down below too. if you have shows like that that I can. Yeah. yeah, they need to make more of those. I'm sorry, but those yeah. are super addictive. They're interesting. And like I've watched yeah. Colonial House, Manor House, you know. Right. Yeah. I accidentally I pulled those while we were talking. I accidentally yeah. pulled it out. Go ahead. So sorry. <laughs> Day 21, Fiber Look seat. at that. It's another party. Wow. From the fiber seed. Thank no you. idea. No idea what this is. Not even going to try. He broke me. <laughs> Two, three, four. So we only have three more days of opening these Advent ones, like the Adventy Advent ones. I like that one a lot. That's going to, hold on a second. What is it going up against? It's going up against this one. Yeah. we will get like Ooh. a more crazy version of what's there. Awesome. That's totally long enough for you to wear while you knit. Oh yeah. That's exactly what I do. I open it up. Oh, I meant wear the shawl while you're knitting it. Like if Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can wrap it. This is how I knit it is like that. Hold on. I don't want to knock my seltzer over. Nice. So this is the end. That's the end I'm knitting on right now. Wow. I can wrap. I can fully wrap it. And That's then awesome. knit on it. Yeah. Totally portable. I like the mini skins when you wind it and you make it, you wind it on your Swift and you make a little teeny cake. They're like a little oh, cupcake. So it's like a cupcake. <laughs> I I still have my decorated Swift though. So I'm. <laughs> well, you can do it on your thumb. Way. You can wind a, ca- a center pole ball on your, on a wooden spoon. I or... have a Nasta pinna somewhere. I got to f- rediscover it in my office. Okay. Girl on her wall. Day 21. definitely getting more oh yeah mm-hmm. yep the the dreary the dreary blues are over oh no, moving no, back into dreary. the sun, sunrise fantastic. okay here's 19 20 21 it's getting so pink yeah i love it i love it me too and i have to say i'm not really a pink pink kind of person but i love that it's just got so much going on yeah with the variegation i do too this has been a very interesting exercise in color for me because a lot of the color i mean there's a lot of variety in the color pack that i have and so of course there's going to be ones where i'm like "Eh, it's not really me but then as i knit with it maybe it is really enjoyed it yes so i think it might be a little bit more daring in the future we'll see Mm -hmm. a21 this one feels very small 
That's because, oh, it's a stitch marker. I was like, it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, oh, it's a little sheepy. Oh, kind of. Oh, yeah, now I can see. That's super how cute. cute it is. Where's Aww. that from? It doesn't say, so I assume that Alex made it. There's his tushy. He has a tushy side, too. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cute. That's darling. Love it. Okay. Nice. Whew. One, one less thing to knit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is day 21 of Crater Lake. Okay. And this is from McMullen Fiber Company. Okay. So day 21 from McMullen Fiber Company. We'll put the link to them down below. Ooh. McMullen Fiber. Oh. Look at that. That's pretty. It's beautiful. Do you have this the is, other two? I'm trying to remember yeah, what the I will other show you. two This is their squishy mini. <laughs> Squishies. Yep. Yeah, I will put them together. 19. Okay, this one was 1920, 21. Oh. Now. Well, lovely. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I think that draws them together. Mm -hmm. Good job, everybody. Yes, super cool. That's the Crater Lake set. Love right. it. I'm going to knit mini sweaters today. <laughs> actually, actually, I have a lot to do today. A lot, I have a lot of knitting to do today and some video filming to do today. I have a list on this note card. It's very long. And then because I have a list, I don't know how many other people do that. Because I have a list of things that I need to get to today, I decided to reorganize my closet this morning. And that was not on your list? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> so was this procrastinating what's on your list because you did not um, your closet? Possibly, yeah, probably. Um, I have COVID pounds I'm dealing with and I'm sick of being in my closet and pulling things off that I can't wear because I've I've pounded out of them. So I <laughs> I understand. I cleared all of those off my closet rack and put them in bags and have them stored on the floor of my closet. And then, yeah, so it's just stuff I can still fit into right now. And we're working on getting that stuff back out of the bags. Yes, because you told me you're meeting someone today to go for a, a heart pounding, vigorous walk. So I meet, yeah, I meet my friend Jenny once a week and we go for a walk and we walk for like an hour and a half to two hours. So that's some and miles she um she's a she's a new move in well relatively new move in they've been here i don't know covid you lose track right it's been like a year and a half now and people think it's still 2020 <laughs> right but we've only been able to really get together for four or five months maybe six months yeah anyway the first time we went and walked together like she like took off and i was like oh i gotta keep up with her like she's serious about this you know yeah. and so we were like walking walking every time we go she's like Psh! we're off and uh like the 80s power walker yeah <laughs> and then uh i we were talking about a mutual friend and she was like yeah i told her she'd be welcome to walk with us but you're such a fast walker and so she said nope not interested i'm like i'm not the fat you're the fast one what have we been torturing each other this whole time <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> so yeah but now it's just habit now we just get together and talk real fast and walk real fast and and move along and move along yeah i mean yes. if it's you're probably walking six or seven miles then we accidentally walked eight miles one day accidentally <laughs> we went to a new place that neither of us had been to and there were no like mile markers or anything right. and we both have like we have like watch you know things but we weren't paying attention and so we got to a logical stopping point or turnaround point and it was it ended up being four miles yeah and we didn't realize it and so then we had to walk back another four miles well we, yeah. were, we were both sore for like three days after that <laughs> well you're committed because you got to get back to wherever you started yeah we had to get back there was no like you're calling someone to come pick you up <laughs> yeah and it's, and it also, I mean, cause it was also like a walking trail. So it wasn't even like we could call someone and be like, come get us on this road. 
Like oh, we were okay. It's four. There were woods on one side and the river on the other. Well, that's neat so, that you have a place like that. Oh yeah, it's great. It's very common out here for the old train tracks. Oh, you it's know, a rails to pull trail. up the tracks and do make do a rails to trail. Yeah, it's a rails to trail kind of thing. Yeah, and that's cool. See, because it's you know that you're not going to be like mountains climbing steep because right. it's graded for railroad. It's level. So there are some elevation changes, but they're so gradual. You don't notice them. And that's also good for like for kids for biking because even younger kids, because it's not going to be super steep. Yeah. Yeah. We have one literally like there's a brook and another house and then it's the rails to trails. And that's, we used to do that. Then we tried that new one over on the Connecticut river. There's one there, Uh but today we're doing there's so Hartford has a series of reservoirs that are all connected by roads because for maintenance guys to like get from one reservoir to the other right but it's all wooded beautiful reservoir hills on the other side of the reservoir and then it's all like nicely paved roads for the utility vehicles so people go and walk those um and we've been doing that a lot too that's very pretty there so tip for anyone in connecticut go walk the west hartford reservoirs that's me huh i have gravel roads that works too. Yeah. Do you prefer to walk on the gravel or do you go into the grass? Depends on the time of the year. That's true. Right now I walk, we have what's called the school section. So back in the day, there right. were, you know, the sections or mile square sections that were homesteaders. And you may know this, but uh, other viewers may not. But so occasionally every, I forget what the interval is, but every so many miles, they'll have the school section. And that was set aside for the K through 12 school building. And so that was on that square mile section. Well, now, since obviously there's not a bunch of tiny little one room school houses dotted throughout the prairie. (laughs) Now the school sections are still owned by the state and they're leased out to various people for grazing, for cattle grazing. So one of those such places is near us. And so I can just go out and walk the square, walk the school section. So that ends up being four miles. Excellent. Yeah. But I don't do that if the grass is tall and it's like July because there's rattlesnakes. Oh yeah. So you don't want to do that. I'll, you know, mm, I mean, I have, oh, baby just climbed my leg. <laughs> oh, she's getting so big. She is getting big. So you don't need to show everyone your tush. <laughs> so I have done this, you know, I've, I'll do the school section this time of the year. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't prefer to do it like in August when it's really hot and all the snakies are active. Yeah. You're a hellion this morning. Nom, nom. Look at her. She's like, yeah. Oh, she's a beast this oh see <laughs> she got into my little teeny sweaters and was carrying one around <laughs> you can stuff it with a little catnip and make it a cat toy for her Ooh, i could or the little sock stuff the sock with catnip <laughs> anyway so but i also don't mind walking i don't mind walking on the road because here i mean it's gravel and you can hear you can hear someone coming and i mean unless yeah. you're jamming out on your earbuds you can hear somebody coming for half a mile right yeah so you know to get to not like spot. we have a lot of traffic <laughs> and then i will step off you know because i usually have the dog with me and we'll step off onto the the strips or the mm-hmm. you know the the borrow ditch yeah so but it's easy it's easy to do that here it's easy to walk four or five miles and then be like oh <laughs> i was zoning out <laughs> on my audio <laughs> yeah and then you're to turn around however many miles from home she's teething i think so oh hey now <laughs> <laughs> she's like quit sharing my medical details on the internet <laughs> look at the belly oh and she's so head. cute she has this one little toe oh is it an extra or did one of her toes oh no, it's just that the rest right. are dark She's and oh she the white that one. One little lighter toe. It looked like the way you were holding it, it looked like she had like a little one on top when you were saying, like, she has a little toe. It's like, what? She's yes, purring. That way you she's, can identify her. She's purring now. In a lineup. Because she knows she's about to kill you. 
She's a vicious tiger. You know, how cats sometimes they'll do that thing where they like push their nose on your nose and they love you and they do the we call it the uh-huh. driving face love. You never know if she's gonna do that or she's gonna bite you. <laughs> <laughs> she oh, claiming so you're sweet. killing i don't know i She's don't know so sweet so all right <laughs> janet it was good to see you this morning thank good you to see everybody this morning yeah i'm not getting anyway have a good day thank you either you'll work on your list or you'll reorganize something else we'll see i'll report back tomorrow kitchen <laughs> cabinets maybe Ah, uh, yeah pantry could use it that's for sure we'll see what happens <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.